All right, so first step, we open the Velcro, get the cables out, and we start with the power. Unscrew it. You see there, um, there is a power sign on the cable. Disconnect it, then continue with left motor. You see there are arrows, just disconnect it. Right motor, again there are arrows, disconnect it. And the rear controller, you have to unscrew it. Again, you can see the arrows. And disconnect it. Then go okay, cool. also disconnect the joystick by unscrewing. There you go. Move the back from the There you go. Yep. So on the left side you've got the controller unit. Open the zipper. And remove the controller unit with the cables. One more cable. And on the right side is the battery. So take the battery out as well. And now you have your old battery and the controller is connected. Battery and a new controller. Take the battery first, put it in the right side of the bag. And there's a hole in the bag where the cable goes through. And the battery goes inside the little bag. And then you close the zipper. Now the controller unit goes on the other side. Take all the cables and then go inside the bag. There's a small hole inside the bag and then there's another hole on the back and you just have to take all the cables through it. And once they're all through, you put the controller unit in the side. There's one more which has to go through. Just pull it nicely through here. There you go, and then you zip that up as well. Okay, now we get the evil. So to attach it back to the to your evil, you slide it onto the bracket. The loop that will make it easier with the connection. On the other side as well. It's just over the bracket. Okay, then you go to the bag and each cable has a label to it. So this is for the right motor, which is this one. And you see the um, arrows and you gently connect it. Then take the next, next cable, which is the controller. Okay. 
Okay, again. You slide it together where the arrow is and then always slide in the wrong direction. Screw it together so it sits nicely. Then what is the next one? That's the power cable we do last. You see there's the left motor. And this is here, the motor is in the wheel. So this is the cable for it. Again, watch out that the arrows are correctly aligned and gently push it together. And this one is for the front controller. Again, this one, um, it might be that the little arrow is not white, but you can still see it on there. Gently push it together, align it, and screw it tight so it's correctly connected. And the last one we do is the power cable. And again, um, it has an arrow. And on the other side, it's not white, but you will still see the arrow connected. Screw it nicely. And then you take the cables, put them together. Attach the Velcro. And it's ready to go.